Hello everybody, it's me again, Catrice Horsley. I'm a storyteller and a narrative consultant who has worked all around the world using storytelling as a tool in development work, um, community cohesion, conflict resolution, mediation, education, as well as in performance. And I'm here to tell you about my new series here, here on the channel. And I'm, I'm excited about it and slightly anxious about it because it's slightly different to the other stuff that I've shared here in that it is to do with our internal narratives not how we use stories and storytelling and narrative as a tool with others but how we make sense of our own worlds our own lives um, through the stories we choose to hear about ourselves and the stories we choose to tell about ourselves I've almost decided that I don't really think any training is effective. I can offer training on language development, on use of voice, tonality, body language, et cetera, et cetera. If the people who I'm training have such a negative self-narrative that they don't feel their voice has any value or their story has any worth or, their, or that their body should not be seen. So I really feel that there has to be a balance between working on our internal narratives in order to manifest them in our external communication skills. So the series will be called The Red Thread. And the reason for that is because here in Sweden, the red thread is used as a term, as a metaphor to describe the pattern that runs through information in order to give that information coherence and meaning, whether it's within a conference or a lesson that you're giving or a dialogue that you're having. The red thread is the coherence and the meaning that stitches it all together. So in some ways, it's the story. And I want to think of that in terms of our internal narrative being our red thread. And often we will have an internal narrative that can be positive. Often we might have an internal narrative that can sabotage us and be negative. But most often we have an internal narrative that we are not even aware of. And in some ways I want to share with you a series of exercises and techniques that help us unknot and unravel all of the threads of our lives in order to find, honour and witness this red thread that we all have. With many of us, we would have lost it um, not become aware of it, put the threads of others over it because we feel that our red thread doesn't have worth or value compared to the threads, the stories of others, the needs of others. Some of us will have sacrificed it willingly, especially if we are parents, especially if we are mothers, because, you know, the cultural narrative that exists is that a perfect mother is one who sacrifices everything for her children. And then, of course, when our children leave, we are left with that sense of, you know, who am I? What am I? Why am I? And it's not just parents. Some of us will sacrifice our red threads for the sake of our parents, our partners, our faith, our communities. And all of us have red threads that deserve to be honoured and deserve to be valued. So this series is going to be all about simple techniques that you can use and simple questions that you can ask yourselves to start to untangle your red thread, to start to lift it up, to witness it, to know it, and to start to live the life that you want to live by following that red thread that you have now finally found and given value and worth to. And that is why I'm wearing a little red thread 
on my wrist. Um, it's one of the techniques that I use in order to remind me hourly that my day is filled with decisions. And these decisions help me give my self-worth, give my work worth and value, or choose not to, to put the value and worth of others above mine, or just to not believe that I've got any worth or value. So sometimes I might just, I don't know, spend the day doing housework when I should be doing the book or writing because part of me, the little devil who sits on my left shoulder is whispering that I'm not a writer and I'm not smart enough to write a book and nobody's gonna read the book anyhow. And I have to look at my red thread and go, no, Patrice, you are worth the words that you write and the words that you write have value. And the red thread in actual fact doesn't just work as a reminder to me, it works as a reminder to my husband as well. And when he gives me choices, you know, he might say, let's go out and do this or how about we, I don't know, go and visit his mom or spend a weekend away with his mom. If I go, uh -huh, and he can see that, mm, he'll say, follow your red thread, Catrice, you know, let your red thread make the choice, make the decision. Um, and he knows that if I choose to stay home and work, or if I choose to listen to a podcast, it is not a negation of him or our relationship. It is an honoring of myself and a giving worth to myself. So I hope that makes sense to you. I know that when I wrote the blog about it on the website, um, many people reached out to me and said, gosh, that really echoes with me, this idea of losing my sense of self-worth, value, and my inability to follow through. Um, and I can talk to you, you know, we all see those inspiring things like dream the life you want to live, and you're thinking it's not that simple. I can dream it, but I also need to do it. So the exercises are quite practical ones um, and the techniques are quite practical ones that you can do. And it's not going to be an overnight change. I still struggle. I still mess up all the time. It is hard. It is really hard to follow through um, and to give yourself value and worth in a culture that often makes us feel inadequate and worthless. Um, yeah, it is. It's really hard. But hopefully some other techniques will help you in the same way that they've helped me. Hence, I'm sitting here in front of this screen giving you this message. So they're going to come out every Friday for the next six weeks. Techniques to help you find your red thread and spin the life you want to lead. Remember to subscribe to the channel and uh, those people who have subscribed, I've got some news coming up for you about a course that I'm offering all to do with becoming aware of our internal narrative in order to change our external world. So stay tuned for that. Remember to subscribe. Remember to follow me on Instagram as well. And take a look at my most recent blog. The link is on my website that is linked into the channel too. So have the most wonderful day, week, month, year, life and I look forward to some of your comments and perhaps some of your feedback on the new series The Red Thread. Bye bye for now, take care, bye.